Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. All right, looks like we got to go over uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we're going to have to go over, let's see, 40 thousandths. But we'll cut this other side first. All right, what's our size? We're uh, sitting at 1,300, so we have 80 more to go. Yes, I'm going to go back over there and take another set of measurements just to make sure. Okay, so um, all three of these were cut at 1380, uh, and this one uh, is the um, bottom for the for the um, plasma, and it's just a little bit smaller by 10,000. So we're going to cut that at 168. So let's come over there first. Eight eighty and then uh, bring this back. But I'm going to bring it back to like sixty five. So there's eighty, there's seventy. There's 65. And we're going to cut it there and then come back up to where we want to be. Okay, so we've got our holes cut. <clears throat> Next thing we need to do is come in and uh, and put uh, bolt holes down the middle of this, or down the sides of this, 
like right in that general area and one here too much oil so time to flip this thing and uh, figure out where to put the bolt holes <clears throat> we'll set this up and be right back all right so we're we're gonna put our pointer in these uh, bolt holes are don't have to be super accurate um, so we can just kind of now I set my center up and then I punched uh, did a little center punch and we'll come in and drop that thing right in the center All right, well, we found a 1024 uh, two inch bolt that's going to work just about perfect. Um, we only found one, so we have to go to, into town and get uh, three more. Or well, actually, seven more. So, um, but we can drill and tap the holes, and that shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to drill the holes. And I believe I've got two inches here. Yep, two and a quarter, in fact, which is good. So let's move it over to this hole here. And uh, we're going to take this back out. Put our... Yeah, let's put our center in and get it right. Okay, well, it's time to countersink these holes, and uh, we've come up with a drill bit that's going to fit the bolt. <clears throat> a couple of thousandths bigger, make it nice and loose. And we will... Oh, <laughs> well, we're going to have to check it out one more time and bring it out to here. Bring the drill bit down until it touches our halfway point line which is right there and set my DRO <clears throat> my little quill DRO and uh, we're set to go And since we have two different sides, one being narrower than the other, we're going to put the other side in. Check it for squareness. And that looks pretty damn good, maybe. Yep. And drill that. All right. 
pretty much covers that size. Let's see how the bolt's going to do. Nice. Um, we're going to have to readjust that anyhow, so I'm thinking maybe we go down and put our countersink in so that the bolt head gets down underneath our countersink right there. Let's hope that's going to be, yeah, it'll be fine. Now we are going straight down, so we're not going to, we're using this as a drill bit rather than a mill. So we can put it in the chuck and everybody's still going to be happy. We're about halfway. Almost. Just a tad more. I'm going to call that even. That looks pretty good. Okay, so then bring it down till it touches and make that zero there we go so we're going one inch 920 and a couple Okay, so what we want to do is we want to saw this in half, and I could probably just take it over to the bandsaw and saw it real quick like, but you know, what's the fun in that? Let's, uh, let's get out the equipment and, uh, you know, see how this thing goes. So we're going to come out to here. I'm going to drop our blade down. We're going to bring our saw up, or I mean our table up. Okay, and that's close. And, uh, you know, I could just eyeball it, but uh, hey, let's go ahead and play around with it measurements it down 360 I think 360 all right let's crank her up oh not that kind of crank up let's slow it down
we did it. We've got uh, all of them cut. Let's uh, take it over to the uh, pattern torch and see what it's going to look like. So my, my standard signature is uh, pretty scriptive, something like that, and uh, and I like that. So uh, we'll we go with that. I've been going with that for years, and um, so I decided at one point. Uh, I think uh, Adam Booth had a stamp made. And so I decided, okay, let's make a stamp with that signature. And, you know, I don't know, it was about 150 bucks or so. But uh, it's kind of cool, and, uh, and I'm really uh, jazzed about it. So we're going to stamp one of those pieces, and uh, we'll be right Okay, I believe that this whole thing is going to be this way with that facing up, although it could probably go either way. But for, for the moment, we're just going to have it that way. So the nick part is going to be right there. I would just give it a good slam. And there it is, right there. Can I bring it in closer so you can see it? Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? I just love that. So, um, okay, we got that. We could also put the date on it too. <clears throat> I mean, what the hell? 2019, I'm just gonna put the 19 part. One nine. All right, so let's put this thing together and go over to the uh, pattern torch and see what we got. Okay, well, first thing I want to do is get the die come off of here. And, uh, you know, for years I've struggled with this until the other day I came up with this uh, brake cleaner, brake parts cleaner. And auto parts store, it was, you know, on sale, three bucks a can, and the stuff works like a dream. Bang! Dykem is gone. Okay, mostly gone. Then I think what we do is go ahead and put a throw a little sanding on that. And that should take care of part of it. And also make it look a little better too. I mean, since we're here, we may as well look at make it look good, right? So let's drop it on the sander and see what we can come up with. All right, ready? So we want to, actually we want to do it all at one time, don't we? So I put uh, little uh, index numbers on here so I could have everything pretty right. Let's get um, a couple of bolts. Let 
And does it not want to go in or what? Well, when I counter sunk the holes, it kind of put a little burr on the inside there. So I have to. How come this is fighting me? That doesn't seem right. Psst. Did I not? Uh, I didn't I didn't put threads in these. All right, well we got to thread them out. <clears throat> Not too difficult. Let me get some uh, tap magic. tight fit though that's for sure okay I think I just bottomed out and I believe what I want to do is come in with a bottom tap because this uh, the threads are not going down that far but we'll do the other side first Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to reach. See, that goes down that far, which is... Well, it'll reach, but I definitely need the bottom tap. So let's uh, go ahead and tap these other two. Okay, let me go get a bottom tap and we'll go ahead and finish this off. Well, I don't know about you, but the thing I hate most about modern taps is they they do a acid etch and after just a little while you can't read it any longer you know you go back to these these old standard taps that where it's embossed and it's there forever and you can always read it and you know I guess they saved a little bit of money okay fine but whenever I find a tap that's a tap style that has embossed uh, you know, letters in it, that's the direction I go. 
Okay, we're bottomed out pretty much. And we can go a little further.